Uh, hello. Uh, in this scenario, we want to implement a slowly change dimension. Uh, CD type 2 in Delta Lake using PySpark. Uh, in this scenario, we will uh, simulate how to implement SCD type 2 for handling historical uh, data changes. Uh, the goal is to track the changes uh, in customer data by maintaining historical records uh, using Delta Lake. And what's the problem? Uh, problem is when you are tasked uh, with uh, creating an SCD type 2 implementation where changes uh, in customer data like um, address uh, are tracked. Uh, this ensure that table keeps boost current and historical records for each customer. Uh, okay, first step is uh, create initial customer table uh, bronze layer. And uh, first, uh, first step uh, of this stage is initialize a Spark Season. And next step is define the schema. And uh, now uh, we want to define the initial customer data. And uh, next step is to create a data frame for the initial data with the expl uh, explicit uh, schema. And now write this data into a delta table to present the uh, bronze layer. And uh, finally, show the bronze layer. Okay, uh, the bronze table stores the customer data with a start date, end date, and current flag to indicate if the record uh, is active. Uh, this is the starting point for implementing SCT type 2. And uh, uh, Second stage is a simulate uh, change in a customer data, uh, like address will change for some customers. Now let me simulate a scenario where customer data changes. For instance, Alice and Bob uh, move to new address. Uh, first step of this stage is define the new customer data.
Uh, okay, and uh, second step is to create a data frame for updated data. And uh, show the updated data. Uh, okay. And third stage uh, is uh, update the delta table using SCD type two logic. And first stage is, uh, sorry, first step of this stage is uh, define the merge logic to implement SCD type 2. Okay, and last step uh, is display the updated uh, bronze table with a historical change. Okay, and now you can see a uh, change here. Uh, for example, uh, Alice has a has a change in uh, address column. Okay, this is a previous uh, previous and expired record here, and this is a, and it's current uh, current and valid record here. And for uh, Bob, it's current and and validate and it's expire uh record for bob okay thanks for watching